All right, guys, I am at Donnie Cates' booth. I'm probably gonna get him to sign a bunch of shit because I just got Miko Suayan to sign some Venom exclusives. Definitely gonna get him to sign those. Oh my gosh, it's Donnie Cates. Whosoever watches this channel, if he or she be worthy, shall acquire the knowledge from the Comic Chief. What's up, Comic Clan? Comic Chief here, and Today I will be highlighting Donny Cates and um, some pickups I got concerning Donny Cates. All right, so um, first off, uh, these two uh, they were featured on yesterday's video. I'm gonna upload the Miko first, and then uh, the Donny Cates on a two for Tuesday. Uh, but yeah, I got this one double signed by Donny and Miko. These are absolutely phenomenal covers. I love them, and. Uh, so before I continue, I do want to say that uh, Donny Cates is awesome. He wasn't able to uh, stay to do the Sunday show at WonderCon. He was supposed to be there Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but he had other commitments. The Scoop, um, he's going to one of those retreats. I think it's a Marvel Writers Retreat. And uh, so they're probably doing some big, big boy things, um, probably in the writer's room and scheduling like the next events for uh, next year probably I'm just guessing um, but yeah um, he also like so his line got cut short so he I'm glad I went on day one um, and I wanted to get him to sign more stuff on day two but uh, he ended up having to cut short he had other commitments I think he went to a local comic shop in somewhere in Orange County and did an exclusive signing for them uh, based on Twitter but uh, the line was closed it was a long line too on, on day two and um, he he stopped signing and he was packing up ready to go and I, I missed it because I was at uh, JP's that spider-man booth uh, trying to win one of those 300s from the vending machine but yeah by the time I got uh, to his booth I got there before 4.30 when he was scheduled to stop signing for that day, but uh, he, he was packing up early. And so a guy saw me like a little bummed out because I just got Willis uh, Portacio to sign. Um, let me grab it right now. Shoot. Sorry about that. That was prepared. Wrong stack. Okay, so I got him to sign that one. All right. I've been wanting this one. I'm glad I didn't buy it on eBay and pay a, an arm and a leg. I got this one. I bought it from Willis's booth. Um, he's also a Filipino American writer. I, I I just think it's really cool um, to see you know some of these people that uh, are from where my parents are from. And uh, he signed right here. It was nice. But you'll see Donny Cates. He wasn't able to sign it in silver or. Um, whatever, I'm not picky as long as I got Donnie's signature uh, But yeah, he was on his way out. I, I took this out of the sleeve because some guy saw me standing there um, Just watching him pack up like a, a sad puppy dog and he said hey man just take the stuff out of your uh, of your sleeve and uh, Have him just just ask him real quick if he could sign them and I bet you he'll do it and I don't want to be that guy but I did because I don't want to miss out um, getting this signed at least um, but yeah he, he was like yeah I gotta go bro uh, but what you got I'll sign them real quick and he signed them super quick and the lady from comic sketch art seemed kind of like annoyed because she already told a bunch of people to pretty much screw up uh, but he signed that and this on day two right before I, I probably like the last person to get him to sign to sign my stuff and he signed that and that I got this from JP's that spider-man booth I'm probably gonna showcase that in a different video uh, later on this week maybe Wednesday and uh, but yeah this is the Perlo carnage born variant freaking sick uh, so yes I got those signed and on day one if you haven't seen from my Instagram which please follow if you haven't done so yet um, I got him to sign this Shaw variant, the wraparound of Guardians of the Galaxy. Nice, nice, nice. 
my secret tongue variant. Man, got that signed. This is a secret tongue variant, first appearance, Dylan Brock. And number nine, he signed it there. This was day one. I don't know why I didn't get him to sign uh, my number three. Dumb me. Uh, so yeah, Cosmic Ghost Rider. This is also a uh, Perillo variant, I think. Yep. Um, so yeah, he signed that and he was like, I felt kind of bad. I felt like a fake fan. But uh, he was like, I think it's funny that you had me sign a Cosmic Ghost Rider with Johnny Blaze on the cover. Oh, rookie mistake. Um, so yeah, definitely gonna get him to sign Cosmic Ghost Rider number one, the regular cover, next time. I, I wanted to go to El Paso Con, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it. Um, yes. Uh, before I go, I wanted to show you that I got this for a steal, in my opinion. And it's a pretty damn good copy of um, It's a Wonderful Life. Yeah. Uh, I saw some mind bombs, but I thought they were a little bit too pricey for what they're going for on eBay. And uh, yeah, I know I think the con's not the place to be getting, you know, like these hot ticket items. Like, because of course, people gotta make a living. Um, so you just gotta be patient. So I'm gonna be patient. I'm gonna get mind bomb. Um, couple of the guy actually that I bought from this from, I can't remember what shop. I think it's Caged Comics. Uh, but he he said that he he was pretty sure that this was a lower print run than Mind Bomb, and uh, yeah. So I'm I'm really glad I got this. I got this for actually less than what it was going on eBay, and I didn't have to like ni like nickel and dime and hassle him. Um, he was like really upfront. So I already went through the pages. They they look they look it looks pristine. It looks really pristine. I'm not a professional grader by any means, but uh, this is definitely one that I'm probably gonna find a mylar for and put it in. So yeah, um, that's all I got. Uh, Donny Cates, man, uh, like he was talking about Silver Silver Surfer Black, and I'm excited to read that. I, I really am. Uh, it's just, man, I really hope he's gonna be at San Diego Comic Con. I'm sure he will, as big as he is, but um, I imagine like here soon, he's gonna be like, uh, Greg Capullo or Scott Snyder, it's gonna be hard to get like, you know, signatures from him just like it was, like, as easy at his, as it is nowadays to get signatures from him. So, yeah, um, that's it. Thanks for listening to me rant and ramble on. Um, looking forward to uploading these videos, and um, I promise I'm not gonna drag out these WonderCon videos. I'm just uh, really excited to show off, like, a lot of the stuff that I picked up, and uh, I'll, I'll put those out. All of them out probably this week. I'm not gonna milk it late um, for like the next month or so. So that's it. That's all I got. This is the comic chief going offline. <laughs>